God and sinner reconciled. God and sinner reconciled. Well, I found out what that meant eight months ago. Hi, my name's Chevy, I'm 27. And uh, Christmas season, it used to be a season of just getting drunk, stoned, high, and just completely off my face. I was antisocial, left me lonely and on my own a lot because I just wanted to hide out and get on whatever it was I was doing. And so when it comes to Christmas with my family and stuff, there was always a lot of arguing. I was always trying to start some sort of a bigger so I could duck off and go and get wasted or high or something. And so Christmas season wasn't really a time of family for me. I just wanted to be on my own. Then I, uh, in April of this year, someone from this church came out and witnessed to me about Jesus Christ, His plan and His purpose, and the things that He has for each and every one of us, and for my life and your lives out here. And um, to backtrack back to November of last year, I was seeing a girl, she left, went back to the UK. I uh, bought a car on Thursday night, I totaled it on Friday, the very next day. That same month, within a couple of weeks, one of my good mates had passed away. And that just really rocked my little world, sent me on a downward spiral. I pretty well went into work on the, uh, I think it was a Wednesday, and I told my boss that I was going to finish these next two weeks out, and that was it, I'm done. I'd had enough, I had enough of life, everything it had to offer. I pretty well tried most of it, and I was just broken. I was, uh, I was lost. I didn't want to be found. I was broken. I didn't want to be fixed. I was hurting, but I loved the pain too much that I just had to keep running and I was up north, down south. I was losing my way, man, and I was lost. But I did not want to be found, so I was running. And then after April, this guy witnessed to me, started telling me the good things. I finally, it took me until the 21st of May I walked through the front doors of this church, pastor preached an awesome sermon. It was uh, it was really good. It was just for me. It felt like he had my whole life spread out on the page in front of everyone. I put my hand up at the end of the sermon, and he challenged us to get our hearts right with Jesus. And he said, you know, if you if you want to be healed, or you want to just have have the joy that you've been missing throughout your life, the peace and the rest come down the front and meet Jesus Christ. And so I put my hand up right at the end of service, came down and said a prayer, prayer of repentance. And man, things started changing that day, but it wasn't until a week later, I fully surrendered and gave my heart to Jesus Christ on the 28th of May. That day, I went home, destroyed everything. And from that day, 28th of May, I haven't had a cigarette, a drink, smokes, methamphetamines, the bombs, nothing. It's just been an amazing, amazing ride and I've got the peace and I'm full of joy and unspeakable.